Hi everyone. How are you? Welcome back to Ryan's Average Reaction. I need to get an air horn thing. Um, I'm just gonna be honest. This episode of Super Nanny is quite literally the angriest I've ever gotten. And I will even put a trigger warning, which I never do. The dad in this episode is insane and smacks his children. Just know that right now. So if that's something that you are like, no way, understood, got it. It is a it, it is a a good episode in the sense that Super Nanny Joe Frost really you really see a side of her that you normally don't see, and that she had to be that way. I could not believe this episode though. I actually, you know me, I can talk. I I yap with the best of them. I was speechless many times during this episode. I literally didn't know what to say half the time. Uh, I mean, like I said, you'll just have to see if you want. It's one of the craziest episodes I've literally ever witnessed on almost anything I've watched on TV. This aired on 6 ABC, I think, or whatever. I don't know what channel Super Nanny aired on. I'm thinking of Wife Swap. I watch too many shows. Um, but yeah, you know, the normal drill, like, subscribe, comment, if you don't mind helping me out, helping the helping me out in the algorithm, okay? We are not a massive channel. We got a nice community, but uh, the more growth, the better would mean a lot. I'm a one-man band. I'm a one-man team, so if you could help me out, that'd be great. As always, uh, follow me on Twitch to watch these live. The link's in the description. It's just not Ryan Abe, all one word, on Twitch. And I have a gaming channel where I upload almost every day, so if you'd like long-form chill gaming, the link will be in the description as well. And that is it. This is a doozy. Buckle up. I'm serious. Buckle up. If you have a seatbelt, uh, wherever you're watching this, if it's not in a car, that'd be weird that you have a seatbelt in other places, but I won't hate, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, enjoy this one. You'll see what I mean. And we'll chat soon. Foul mouth father ruins all family relationships. That's great. Not surprising. The Davis family, Super Nanny USA. We're definitely in Florida. Well, I'm back in Florida. I knew it. You could just tell the vibe. What's up, Jess? How you doing? What's up, Ebony? I could just tell. Madeline, how are you? Mm -mm -mm. In sunny Deltona, let's take a look at the family that needs my help this time. We're the Davis family from Deltona, Florida. Uh -oh. I'm Phil. And I'm Debbie. And we have five children. Morgan, oh, no. who's 14. <laughs> Philip is not. Look at look at look at look at the dad mouthing the words of her of her script. Watch. I'm not fucking leaving. Okay, well now hold on, Mariah. Thank you for the eleven months, Mariah. Thank you, Mariah. Eleven straight months, by the way. I appreciate that. Debbie, and we have five children: Morgan, <laughs> who's fourteen; Philip is nine; Madison, who's four; and Stuart Tiffany Little is three; and Tori is two. I'm a water plant operator. I am a commercial insurance sales producer. Okay. I thought you cleaned the kitchen, Morgan. But this ain't clean. Phil is my stepdad, but he's raised me since I was three, so I just call him dad. Let's pick this up. Let's go. Well, I'm not picking it up. They did it. Morgan was up here watching them, and look what she let them do. Well, why don't you pick it up? You're the father. Help me get them to pick it up. You get it. It's your job. First thing a wife should do, she should have the house cleaned Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these episodes. It's gonna be one of these episodes. Before she leaves, <laughs> she should have the kids ready in a, in a decent time. She should, uh, when she gets home from work, which, hey, you're sitting on your rear end all day. It's my oh boy, here, this is not gonna go well, my friends. It's a good talking to. It's not gonna go well. The mornings here are a nightmare. It takes an hour to get Morgan up. Yeah. The only way we can get her up is call her on her <laughs> cell phone. See you later, Deb. Phil leaves for work early. I have to get my little sisters dressed, and I have to make sure Philip's getting dressed. <laughs> yeah, the chat's been kind of zooming here. I don't know what's do going on. She know complains what's going about, on, whines about it, but it's what we have to do. I have to get to my job. Let's go. I you got to get you to school, Morg. Mom's coming. Get in. It's so chaotic in the mornings that we can't get her to school on time. Come oh. on. I'm a straight A student, but I'm failing my first period because I'm always late. This is all messed up. My dad loses his temper so bad that he'll call me and my little sisters bitches. Oh no. Oh. 
When I get mad at my girls, I will say the B word to them. Yes. And I'll be like, you little bitch, come here. <laughs> this is not a problem. Bruh. Nah, this is not real. <laughs> He's not saying that to his three-year-old daughter, bro. That's not possible. <laughs> oh, my God. Eric, I, and I shouldn't say that. If I catch you in it again, you're going to get a spanking. You understand? Oh, boy. My dad, he'll spank the girls. Oh, boy. I don't know. If... Please don't show this. Please. Please. <laughs> Nah, skipping that. That's all right. I'll go get my belt. Bro, oh, what? Actually, okay, hold on. This is. I clearly do not pre watch these. This is a wild start to the episode. A belt for a three year old girl? You're going to sit in that chair? If I see you get up. That's disgusting. I mean, that minute, that she might even be two years old. That's, that's child abuse. Absolutely appalling. Our family has gotten so bad oh. that my parents have separated quite a few times in the past. Super Nanny, please come whoa, help my family. Whoa, 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 this is whoa. very disturbing, to say the least. So hold on. Hopefully this episode ends with uh, Joe whipping Phil with a belt. Because I will be with you all very, very soon. Right, Amanda? What's up, Emo? How are you? Welcome, everybody, joining in. How you doing? Dude, this is wild. Yeah, I hope Joe serves uh, a hot plate of attitude. Hello? Hi. Hi, Jeff Frost. I'm Deborah Davis. How are you? Deborah Very Davis. Well, thank you. What's up, Truth? I was so incredibly happy to see Joe. So happy that you. I think I'd be a great dad. Yeah, I will be a great. I was dad. really nervous about Joe coming in, wondering what she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why you're nervous? Because you beat your children, Phil. That's why you're nervous. He was thinking of what kind of person I was or my family. Mum and Dad's first order of business was to sort out snack time, and I couldn't help but. See, Mum was doing everything, and Dad was just over watching it. So are there duties that you both share together, then? Anything to do with the kids yeah. is my responsibility. Anything right. to do with cleaning is my responsibility. Right. Then, sorry, yours is? I'm just trying to define here. Oh, my. We haven't figured that one out yet. No, mine's go to work, come home. Play video games. Tim, play with Philip, relax. So he has quality relax. time. He has, like, no responsibilities. You know, he comes home and he gets to relax. I don't get to do that. Seriously, are you kidding me? He's got no idea about the importance of couples coming together and sharing the responsibilities when they both work. That's another thing. I'll come we home. We don't have time in the morning to clean the house, though. There's time to pick up your cereal bowl. I've got five children and nobody... Yeah, this is not a great relationship, to say the least. They're arguing in front of Joe. Get ready. Nobody oh, eats geez. in the morning. Nobody There's eats in the morning. One, oh, my gosh. Three, Philip eats at school and the girls eat at daycare. They don't eat here. Can I, can I ask a question? Is this how you talk to each other all the time? All the time. They talk over one another. It's wild. They interrupt. It's like a podcast. And it causes a lot of confrontation. We can do a break. I'll do one. Oh, she might have went out back. I did find Mum outside deeply upset with the argument that had just gone down. What's going on? I love Phil more than anything in this world. Oh, I don't know about that. I certainly wouldn't. More than anything in the world. But he needs to step up to the plate. He needs so to leave. you separated and you got back together again, was that something he said he was willing to do? Yeah. To step up? If it doesn't get better, then what? Leave. I don't know. If Phil chooses not to fix that, it will end our marriage. Of course, duty called. Be honest, I don't know how it hasn't ended their marriage yet. If you're a mother and you're the father of your three-year-old children is calling them a bitch and spanking them, would you not? Is that not the end-all be-all? I mean, unless she's okay with it, I guess. But that, to me, would be, that would be it. And mom ran outside to pick up some food for lunch. But Morgan was still seething and decided to confront Dad oh, no. about how he treats all the women in the house. You, you call everyone the B-word if they look at you Man. the wrong way. What do you mean, B-word? No, I'll say to her... Do you mean bunions? You're acting like a bitch. Dude, this dude is not holding... Dude, Joe's gonna throw him against the wall. No, you tell me you're like... You little beep, you can get upstairs because, and you can walk your little butt upstairs. So you can walk your ass upstairs, you little... Oh, in front of these young... Dude, these girls are like three. Bitch, because you act like that. 
But I told you how I feel about it. I don't like saying I that told to you too. You don't tell me anything. You do Stuart Little's not happy. Do what I tell you to do and you shut your damn mouth about it. Oof. That's the problem. You can sit there and throw your tears all you want. That's your problem. You just like your mama, you run all the time. Oh man, this is, this is the most abusive person we've ever watched. I was disgusted to see this man talking to his daughter like that. This man really swannies around his own home, damn. demanding so damn, much damn, respect, damn. and he has no respect for any of his family. So your, your language, does it extend to all of the kids? Sometimes I get mad at them and cuss at them. You swear at the younger ones as well. Yeah, and, it's, and I'm not proud of that. I'm ashamed of that as a father. And after I do it, I feel like, crap. It's like, man, what kind of father are you to call your daughter a bitch? That's it's crazy. Just... You're right in the other room. Dude, this guy is nuts. Not nice. What, what were you trying to ask, Kara? I'm sorry. Whoa. What's up, Casey? How are you? Michelle, good to see you. Right, then stop. <laughs> if you, if you feel so like sad. you're a bad father, stop. To see hey Tammy, this how are you? Girl subjected to this behavior, it needs to stop. It really does. It's so sad. It's actually so sad. Quit. This is how this is how I drew houses when I was younger, because I didn't know how to do anything with drawing, so I would just build it. Or this is how I'd build Minecraft houses as well, just like a big giant square with a roof. This is how I imagined a house when I was a kid, because I didn't know about, you know, little things and whatever. And even in Minecraft, it would just be like, boom, 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 house. This is how I imagine a house. What are you doing? Stop being what a meanie. Madison, where's you my take belt? The, uh, I break have you ever used the belt as discipline? I have used it, yes. Right. On which children? All of them. On all of them? That's wild. What I usually do is, like, like with the little baby. Doing it, dude, when you have to say you use a belt on your little baby, to me, you should, you should go to, I don't know, dude, I don't know, go to jail? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's too harsh to say that, but on a two-year-old girl, that's, I'm single, oh, uh, Karen, that's crazy. Maybe here I can use this, because that'll help. What? I'll just kind of like, pop it like that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't do even try that. No, you do it harder. You. I believe her. You can no. ask mom. You put your legs right. around this. Yeah. Right, like that. What is... Yo, I, I actually truly, genuinely feel uncomfortable. I don't even want to pause on this. Yeah. And then all you have is the rear end. Nah, I'm skipping this. I understood that. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what I want to watch here. Hey, you don't bite. You don't... Dude! Chat. Wait a Dude, actually... I'm, I, 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 you, dude, I actually don't know what to say. Bro, I, I, I am stunned. Slap. Yay. Hey, hey, you just, hey, you don't bite. You don't bite. <laughs> Instead of dad explaining the importance of- Just smacked her on the mouth. Not to behave like that. He smacked his young child in the mouth. Are you kidding me? It's a baby, yo. I can't believe I'm seeing this. This is actually crazy. I've never ever, this is ne I've never seen an episode like this before. Later on, the whole family went out for a walk, and Dad decided God. that he would pick a bone with Morgan about a piece of jewelry she was wearing. Do you see that chain that she's wearing? That belongs to that boy, Chris, on his neck. What's she doing wearing a chain? What's this? This, this is a, a guy year old. that's 17, yeah. and I don't think at 14 years no. old she needs to have a boyfriend that's 17. Yeah. Only out for one thing only at that age. He ain't looking for a relationship to marry her, and she's naive. I mean, you look at her, she don't look 14. She gets her makeup on. I mean, she's shorts are a little too low for me too, I think. You don't you think? Like a turtleneck every day. Well, I don't think at 14 you need to show cleavage. You don't have to look like it. What I think. Are my sleeves like, too short? What, what do you think? Well, I feel like he's gonna say something really bad here. I could feel it coming. What she looks like. When you dress like, like that, you look. Uh, I was gonna say you don't I have to dress know. like. I don't. I don't. I, you, 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 you could feel it brewing. You could feel it brewing. 
the so. slot. You can. Yep. There it is. Bruh. Oh, that's crazy. That's a, am I? That's just a, a a normal shirt. Look. It's just a shirt. That's just a shirt, dude. Calling. Calling your daughter. Or stepdaughter, whatever, a, a, a slut is insane. You can dress like a decent woman. Are Boys are gonna look too at her. Short? Hey, when I was your age, when I was seven, Are they too short? What? My pants. They're too tight. Do these flip flops show too much Look, of my that's feet? Enough. No, don't be a smart aleck. Well, that's what you're sounding uh, no, stupid when you, you could, say no, that. Not, these are too tight. They're you not too what? tight. You know what? That's the problem with her. You know, I should let you run with the dogs and get flea, sister. Act like a little hoe. I should. Oh no. It's actually getting worse. It's actually getting worse. Don't even worry about your ass. Let you do what you want to do. Can't believe. Can't believe what I've just heard. Whatever. I did nothing to it, Mom. See, I feel like the mom. I'm sorry. You could and I'm not trying I'm not trying to judge her too much, but I feel like the mom is enabling. Because, yeah, she's hugging now. She didn't say a damn thing. She just stood there. You know, just didn't say anything. Probably only hugging her because the camera's there. It's like, dude, I don't know. If you're a mom, that's your daughter, right? I would, I would hope you were, you would, you would step in there, you know? That's not his daughter. It's his stepdaughter. So as a mom, I feel like you got to be like, you're not going to speak to her like that, okay? So that's that's that sticks out for me. Like she's this is crazy stuff. You <laughs> just calling me a whore because the way I just. Oh. I mean, what's crazy is this is such a basic outfit. This is wearing jeans and a top. I don't even know, like the, the fact that he's sexualizing her is creepy. If you if you just walk by this girl, you would think, yeah, that what's what? Like that's the most basic. It's just a, like a basic outfit. Like I don't even. It's all right. It's in Florida. What do you want to? Like she said, do you want to wear? Do you want me to wear a turtleneck? That's what I would say. It's probably eighty five degrees. Normal. The mom doesn't. I'm telling you, the mom doesn't. I don't know, man. I don't like I it. I don't know why he's doing that. Morgan was so humiliated. Mortified. I mean, the, the, the man in her life talks to her like this. Yet, mum tolerates this behaviour. Right. Tomorrow, I really can't wait just to sit down with this family. These parents need to understand their behaviour in order to change that. If this episode is triggering for you, by the way, like if you can leave at any moment, do not feel like you got to stay. I did not expect this. This is crazy stuff, dude. Now, I do hope Joe just beats mentally beats this man down i am scared to death to meet with joe tomorrow but well, you should she be. called us on a few things already i can only imagine Caught you on a few things sit down at the table with her <laughs> all right i'll see you tomorrow morning a few, huh i'm very nervous about it and i believe she's gonna put me in my place yeah 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 good yeah, night yeah, good thank night. you for a good day bye thank bye. you bye bye, bye, -bye. Dude, she's pissed thank you for a good day bye it's gonna be rough and maybe that's what we need. You guys need jail. That's crazy. Well, that's the craziest start to a Super Nanny episode ever. I can't believe this point. aired, to be there honest. There are some serious issues that need to be addressed here. And you're going to see, if this isn't dealt with, a repeat of history over and over again. Okay. Let's talk about the first thing I noticed. Phil. I don't know what century you're living in. Your behavior is is completely chauvinist. This isn't about. He already he already wants to argue. He's already like <laughs> standing up on your soapbox and saying a woman's place. What do you mean a woman's place? Um, and the money that she earns mouth. contributes alongside your money to raise your family. It's not fair. No. Oh. Let's talk about Morgan. The man who raised her since she was three years old calls her a slut and called her a hoe yesterday. 
No, what I was saying was I don't want her to dress like That's one. What you call Jesus, dude, he's got a response for everything. Yeah. I'm not saying I called her a slut. What's I said, up, Max? if you want to dress like one, is what I said. I was there. That's what I said. Phil. That, that's what I'm saying. You can't. That's what I'm trying to. That... Phil. All right. Phil. Cool it, Phil. I don't even think you know what you say when you're angry. You fly off the handle. You're like a ball to a Do you think she flag. should show her cleavage at 14? She... Oh, my God. Wasn't. Let's talk about discipline. See, the mom, once again, are just sitting there, like, silent. You're not raising your children to think smart and make better choices. You get out the never belt or you smack them. And then you wonder why they smack each other. Right. With these kids being raised in a dysfunctional environment that's hostile, they're living in constant earthquakes. Me and it's Kim. beyond sad because it's breaking spirits. Phil. Your language is despicable. Overpowering, dominating, fueled by this anger. This is actually the maddest I've ever seen bully. her. And all you're doing is breaking down your relationships, your marriage, and causing more and more destruction. Oh, you're ripping this house like a toy. You know what sucks about my ADD is like this is such a serious thing, but all I can freaking look at is those stupid cow cookie jars. Because <laughs> I do, I do like them. I'm not gonna lie. I do really like them, and I hate it. I keep thinking like those are really cool. It's bad placement. They shouldn't have any cow cookie jars there. Tornado like you have never seen. And you allowed this to happen. There you go. Call her you out. Stand back. And the reason you gave me? Because I want my family to be together. Right. Uh, that's the price you're prepared to pay, is My it? idea is strong. Just to keep your family all under one roof, you're prepared to destroy and break the spirits. JJ Mendes. If you're not prepared to be that parameter, to put that boundary in place, to say, hold on a minute, Phil. We need to talk about this. Hold on a minute here. This is what I expect from the pair of you before I even begin. Okay. I expect 100% commitment. I expect an open mind. Right. I expect you to accept the change. I expect you both to listen to me. Yeah. And hard work. Because trust me, this ain't going to be no walk in the park. Oh, yeah. I expect that. See, what's interesting is this, this episode is about the parents. The kids, I haven't even seen the kids do anything wrong yet. Really? Besides just be kid, I don't know. This is the 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 boy. I feel like hasn't spoken. The daughter seems great. The other daughters are like three. You cannot give that to me. Then this doesn't. It's not go appropriate down. to ask right now. When is it appropriate? That's what I expect from the pair of you. Can you give that? Yes, ma'am. Give that and more. It's not working. Oh, there's another cow jar. Dad's behavior was totally inappropriate. Welcome back to the box and house. Very extreme. And I do know that I'm going to have to really look at techniques that are going to teach Dad all about his dysfunction. Oh, wow. Cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, boy, look how beautiful they are. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you say that as you literally smack them in the face, bro. That's sweet. It's a sweet picture. Uh, so, the reason why I've brought you back here is to talk to you about your abusive verbal behavior. Every time you verbally abuse your young girls, it is like you're throwing a poisonous dart at them. Right. Oh my God, is she gonna make them throw darts at her children? His children, oh my God. I knew Joe was gonna come with some stuff, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Bro. Joe was bringing out the big guns. Bruh. God damn. So that's why we are going to pick up the darts and um, we're going to throw one in their face. Do I have to? Or... Do you want to? No, I don't want to. Why? Because those are my girls. I love my girls. I don't want to hurt my girls. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to overrule you because okay. I'm going to ask you to throw a dart right in their faces. Oh okay. my God. This is crazy. This is wild stuff, dude. Okay. Just... <sighs> it was 
really hard because I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to mess up my little girl's pictures or their souls. But I know what Joe was getting to. She was trying. But I would be like, these are pictures you, dude, these are pictures you smacked them in the head. Trying to show me that every time I was cutting them with those words, it was like throwing a dart at them. And that wasn't a good feeling. Man, now he's really going for it. What's up, Hope? He, he didn't like doing it at all. He felt sick to do so. I don't think he feels that sick. I, I, I to me, if I had, a, I feel like he's kind of uh, like uh, looking like he's kind of enjoying it. He's winging those things in there. Doesn't look like he's sick to me. And it was disturbing to watch, to see these little faces being ripped from the. I mean, first of all, he's hitting everything on the head. The darts. I, I didn't like to see myself. He's literally like eight for eight. I find that quite disturbing to actually look at. I do too. Yeah, why? Because it shows all the the pain that I've inflicted on him. I don't like looking at it. Every time you get angry, I want you to picture the image of the, of the faces that we see now. Right. No father or parent wants to hurt their children. <laughs> and I just got, bro, I don't, I think something's actually mentally wrong with this dude. Let's go back to the belt scene where he smacks them with a belt. I was hurting my children verbally. Verbally? And... No, he, he, no, not just verbally. We witnessed this man smack his daughter in the face and hit her with a belt in two minutes. For Joe to show me that was really great because it was an eye opener. The girls are not the only ones who have been let down by dad. Even mum has been let down with his broken promises to change time and time again. So I thought it would be really important to take these two to a gym so dad could see exactly why his wife doesn't trust him. Stand behind. And when you're ready, Debbie, you go three, four backwards. Okay. You gotta drop her. When you're ready, Debbie. I got you. Okay. What'd you do there, Deb? Put my foot back. Yeah. Why? Why is it hard to free fall back on Phil? Because he hasn't always been there for me. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Phil. Ah, no! That's gotta open up your eyes there, Phil. I'll leave it up to you, Phil, to tell her when you're ready. You're ready. I'm right here. Oh, I did it again. Interesting, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every time I went to fall, I thought, this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm going to do it. And I'd get my feet just... Look, he's still not really catching her that great. Like, he's... <laughs> he's kind of, like, letting her fall a lot, to be honest. That's the way I think it should be, and I go back. Like, why is he so small, so far up? I mean, back, bro. Move up a little bit. God damn, what's up, Saul? I can damn it if I didn't. <laughs> there we go. Stop Move up a bit. I love you. I'm gonna catch you. I'm I'm right here. I don't like this dude at all, man. I told you. Yeah, See? I don't know, dude. I told you and you didn't break your fall. This time, is this gonna be the there time that he means everything he says? Or is this time once again gonna mean a breakup of our family? Alright, let's put it around Phil's face. Oops. That Oops. understands what mom is going through, but he's got no empathy. So the next exercise would really show him oh God, what it feels like thing. when trust is broken. And so I asked the instructor to tell Phil that Deborah was behind him. Oh, oh my God. It made me feel Dad, sick. Jack, not I didn't time know if you I was going to hit the floor or what. So, so it sorry. was a very scary feeling not to have somebody Jesse, there so behind sorry. you. So what's that feel like? Scary. You should have let him fall fun. with nothing there. I didn't realize I was causing that much damage to you. I think they need a divorce. What's so up, okay. I won't. That has begun to Thank understand you, uh, why Sammy. he needs to change. That's all so I was trying to do. I'm going to give him a humane technique. I'm so sorry, Jazzy. What's up, Sybil? 
We are going to do time out my way. I'm going to explain to you the importance of each step so that you understand why you may still be doing it for 15, 20 minutes. Right. Once again, not to, okay, so we just banned somebody. I'm just going to be honest, right? We banned somebody who just came in and asked for money for a PC. If my, someone in my chat that's been here and talks to me and like, we have a cool relationship, like, or you know I'll always be down to be like, I'll help you out. If you've never spoken to me before and you come into my chat for the first ever time and the first thing you say is that you want money. Bro, just like, couldn't it be your second time chat? Like, you gonna do it. Like, goddamn, bro. First stream, first message. Come on, man. You gotta be better than that, dude. At least do that second stream in. What's up, Carmen? That's crazy to me. As I talked at the steps, he needed to discipline Maddie. I get any money, but oh, Jesus, dude. Come on. Get out of here. Let's go. Here. Let's move it. No move. No move. You know what? You're going to the no top. Move. Oh, I'm so scared of what Phil's no going to do. I feel like I feel like, this might be the WWE fan of me. I feel like Phil's about to power bomb her through the desk. Like, I'm genuinely worried about this. Great. At least exactly, Isabel. What's up, Mocha? How are you? Welcome, everybody, joining in. If you're not watching this live and you're on YouTube, and if you're like, why does Ryan talk to imaginary people? Does he have schizophrenia? Maybe, but I'm talking to my chat on Twitch. The link's always in the description. Uh, come on in and uh, drop a follow, watch these live, um, and check it out. Uh, Molly, thank you for gifting Isabella a sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Go, Jazz. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Also, I accidentally timed out Jazzy. Jazzy, if you're listening, I am so sorry. <laughs> I tried banning that guy and I timed out Jazzy. Jazzy got a stray. I feel so bad. <laughs> Jazzy, I'm so sorry. All right, let's go back to this. Thank you. Jazzy, I know you're time out. I'm so sorry. You do not deserve that, Jazzy. Okay, that was a misclick. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh, I felt so bad, dude. I missed. I clicked the wrong button. What's up, Diana? How are you? I <laughs> dude, I was just clicking buttons. Move it. Let's go, guys. No. Oh, it's so messed up. She did need a timeout, so and I was curious to see if he would just stay calm under the pressure. You're gonna sit here. Jazzy did nothing no. wrong. No. Sit. Come down and explain why. Always in timeout. Your first step is to explain you know why? why you put I'm not the a good mod. I'm a bad mod. What's up, Jordan? Chair. How are you? Because I asked you to get off the computer, and it was time to move. I'll put your feet in my face. Oh boy, he's gonna throw hey, her. knock it off. He's gonna throw her. You sit right there, and you're gonna sit there until your three minutes are up. Before I would stand over him and yell, figuring that that was the way to do it, and I used to threaten it all the time. They would get up, I'd get frustrated. They would break me down to the point where I was just like, forget about it. Oh, Lordy. You going hard on Animal Maddie Crossing? Got up a Me few too. Times. He had to place her back again. Welcome back, yeah, Jazzy. Back <laughs> if they get back up, you Jazzy just, called a stray. You don't say a word to them, sit them back down, and then you just do what you have to do. So you put it back, and the four minutes start all over again. Well, now she's hiding behind the chair. She well, it's neither here it. or there, but communication is none. Yeah, don't even say and you it. just place her straight back right. into the chair. That's a good hiding spot. The importance of giving discipline without being angry leaves a parent in a place where they don't lose control. So each time she does that, four minutes start all over again? Start all over again. That was effective. Nobody yelled, nobody screamed. I put you in the chair because when I asked you to get off the computer, you told me to get lost, so that's naughty. You know, I timed so, you in chat. Yeah, by mistake. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I timed out two Come people on. trying to ban you one person. Let's go. If you would have told me a week oh. ago that timeouts were effective, I would have told Never you. Never make you me a mod crazy, ever. I would have used the belt. What time, Phil? See, look at what this man just said to his three-year-old daughter. I would have told you you were crazy because I would have used the belt. This man has genuinely been beating his kids. Like, actually, actually, actually. What time, Phil? Trust me, it works. I'll remember that the rest of my life. Actually, would have beat his kids there. Crazy. There's no doubt that dad needs to change his behavior, but I've got lots of other issues to deal with as well. And what I want to concentrate on is giving this family a technique to help them with their mornings because they're crazy. 
I have to get to my job. Let's go. I, you got to get you to school, Mark. Mom's coming. Get in. Come on. A chaotic morning You're can certainly driver. lead get to a troublesome in. day if you allow it. You'll see there are three shelves, Tiffany, Tori, and Madison. And what I would like you guys to do is to take these shelves up into their rooms. OK. Wait. Um, pack Jet abs. their outfit for the morning. The actual key thing to do is to start doing things the night before. Let's follow through with it. OK. OK, let's get them choosing something for tomorrow. Let's get your clothes, come on. The girls were so excited to pick out their clothes and to put it in their shelves. Go put your socks yeah. on the drawer. Oh, you want your pajamas in there, too? Very good. And once the shelves were ready, it was time to establish a morning routine. At 5.30... Got the Lion King sign right there. Mum up and getting ready. Six o'clock, Morgan. Up. Morgan being late is probably one of the biggest issues we have in the house. It has to be stopped. I have to find a better way to make things happen. That boy hasn't said a damn word. I need to see what's going on with this, this kid if he's okay. He hasn't spoken yet. I feel like he's scared to speak to this family. So for this to work, what does it take? Everybody's doing work. what they need to do. Yeah. We put good things in place, but I wasn't entirely convinced that this family were going to do the morning routine. Yeah. So the next morning, I had a little surprise for oh, them. He's been here the whole time, too, which is crazy. So what the Davis family don't know is that they're about to get a morning drill from me. Oh, no. As you can see, it's half past five in the morning. How does Joe look like this and... and drill. Dude, if it was 5.15 in the morning and you showed how I looked, oh my God, you would think that something was really severely wrong with me health-wise. Like, you would be, like, concerned for my safety and well-being. Joe looks like she's been up for four hours. Oh, from me. Huh, like As how? As you can see, it's I break past five in the morning. That's when they should be up and ready. So, let's go. That's, it's, uh, is she gonna have a bullhorn or something? Wow, Phil's Good up. Good morning. It's your 5.30 morning school drill. Okay. We're coming. 5.30 school morning drill. Let's rock and roll. Joe is certainly a morning person. I hated being ambushed by Joe. <laughs> it was like total surprise when Joe showed up, and then I was out and gone for work. <laughs> When you have a situation like we're having this morning with Tori, make sure that you can just bring in something for her to play in the space. Okay. And just come down to a level and say, Tori, mummy has to get ready now. Go and take your baby into mummy. Uh, when I woke up to Joe, I was surprised because I wasn't expecting. Imagine waking up and seeing Joe in front of you. That would be like uh, heaven for me. Rise and shine, Ryan. Like, Joe? Expecting her there, and I Hi. was worried about my mom because I didn't know if she would have the girls dressed on time. Good morning, good morning. Dipper real. Good morning. Ooh, 86 I followed Riz. the schedule. If I would have sat down and put that on a piece of paper, it would have just been some words on a piece of paper. Damn, y'all feeling silly nice now. 1% down bad with 80% Riz. Nice to see you on time. Very good to see you on time. I love that I don't have to get the girls dressed in the morning and they're not my responsibility. There you go. Is As everybody it, it ready? It shouldn't be her responsibility. Okay, great. So, you are 17 minutes early. I was 17 minutes early. I'm never early to anything. <laughs> well done, Debbie. Thank you. It's important for Morgan to get to school on time, but it's equally important that Morgan five, has a good five relationship kids. with her father. And her dad needs to connect with her before more damage is done. We are going to allow Morgan to get off her chest exactly what she needs to. So the rules are you only to use your ears for talking. Got it. No worries, Jazzy. When Joe told me that uh, if I, I if I was Morgan, I would be going in right now on Phil. I would be. This would be a legendary rant for me. Talked to my dad, but he wasn't allowed to talk back. It was kind of weird. Well, 
I'd be like, first of all, you piece of shit, trash ass. Like, I would go in. She's going to be very nice about it. Like how you, whenever mom and the girls and Philip come around, you're always different around them. Like, if it's just me and you, you're cool. But then when they're around, you're like a big jerk to everybody. You make me angry. Whenever I say something, you're like, well, I'm an adult. And you can't use the excuse that you're an adult and I'm a child because I have to live here just like you do. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Just those little things for like the past forever and you never listened to me or anything. I could tell that he was like thinking about what I was saying and that he actually listened. I thought he was going to smack her in the head. I'm dead serious. I thought he was going to smack her. That's how stressed I am about this dude. Whenever I see his head, his hand, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Me, when I look at my dog doing anything. You're crying. I'm all right. I'm all right. Made a lot of good points. I still think he's just doing this because the cameras I always I say that shit. I think a lot of the times... That's no, gonna stop. They do this because there's a camera in their face. Believe me. Even to the little girls, they'll oh, stop. Everybody. Well, see, like I'm and scared. Mom. And mom, everybody. Just this dude's an everybody. abuser. Like actually. You don't deserve to be talked to like that. So I'm gonna open my ears and listen to what you have to say. And I did. I do owe you an apology for the for embarrassing you about your clothes. For that to actually admit his shortcomings and apologize to Morgan is a huge I mean, step at least he forward did that, but in Jesus. healing his relationship with his daughter. Because the reason I don't believe him is because I feel they've already split up multiple times, him and his wife. So he's obviously said this before, and he said it before, just like he's going to say it now, I'm going to change, I'm going to be better. So it's like, I don't believe that shit. So this is what's happening. I'm leaving for several days, and when I come back... Time will tell exactly what you guys have been sticking I'm scared and making of, uh, to doing. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to be able to do it. I'm scared of how do. this up this this Mornings. is going to go without Joe there. What's up, right. You have everything in place. Yep. Before I left, I wanted to remind Dad right, Paige, have of a good the night. promises that he's made during that family meeting. It's a pedophile. I think, me, dude, I think so, too. I was arrogant. I think so, right. too. Ignorant. Right. I knew no and, better. And the fact that he was I know talking now. about his daughter like I that is just so. I don't. I don't. I want to be. I don't the know, man. It freaks me that out. Receives and can give. Right. I'm willing to do the change. I want to do the change. Truthfully, I'm very nervous about it. Now he um, he does look like a gerbil. I've said this about other people, but he does look like a human gerbil. And I'm allowed to say that because he smacked his daughter in the face. I'm going now, and in several days. Coming he back to see exactly like what you guys did. Okay? Okay. Right. Thanks, Joe. So. You're welcome. I'll see you when I get back. All right. Bye-bye. I'm gone for several days. This house days. is going to go to shit. The reality is... What's up, Maya? How are you? ...this family to stay on the track that they've been placed on so they have a future together, it means that Dad is going to have to remain the way he is right now, and that's open and willing to let go of that abusive behavior. All right, Joe. This is scary. I've been away for three days and I am seriously concerned about the welfare of this family because dad's temper escalates and his inability to change is worrisome. I'm petrified of the DVD meeting. I am. Why, dude? I don't understand. How are you petrified? I don't, I don't, I don't. This family gives me the, the free, the heebie jeebies, bro. What do you mean you're petrified? You were on camera. That's scary. That freaks me out. Very scared to watch us. Why? I think she's going to What's up, Linda? Say, I've done good morning good. to you. I think I've made a big difference. So any thoughts before we watch the footage? Hey, Mira. She's in Harvest. I'm very Man. nervous. What about yourself, Phil? I think I did all right. I hope I did. Okay. God, oh God. Let's take a look anyway. Okay. All right. I miss portable DVD players, man. They were cool. Okay, do we think he's going to smash the Play-Doh in their face? So far, he's looking all right. Play beauty shop. I'll be the customer. But once again, camera's on him. I say this with a grain of salt. Cameras are on him. Massive. 
Good lord. Don't man, fall for the BS. Job, Don't fall for it. Daddy looks silly. <laughs> good job. You would have never done that before. It was nice that you just chilled with the girls and, and let them play salon with you and just really get I involved. agree, Mom, 100%. Yeah, it was fun. Who knows? Maybe you'll have your toenails is. painted next week. <laughs> or the fingers. I was trying to get her to do my nails, but she, she said I was a boy. It is nice to see because now we are seeing you have fun with the girls and enjoy. And that's a really lovely improvement. So let's move on to the next clip. Hey, baby. What you doing? Oh, here's Morgan. Hey, that's Chris! Oh. <laughs> Where are you gonna get it for you? Well, he's just a friend. He's not your boyfriend. Yes, he what? is. You hear that, Deb? What? That they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. Did you know that? Yeah, she did. Yeah, I did. I kind of figured that when he comes over every day, so. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that you were just kicking around with her and joking. Yeah, I was. Actually, just being playful with her allowed her to realize that it was okay to actually tell I agree. you eventually right. that she has been dating Chris. Yeah. So right I just now, feel like, and I, 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 I if somebody is abusive like that and Morgan like genuinely and outburst all the time, hits people, uh, you can't change that in uh, one week. <laughs> Maybe over years and years and therapy and things, but you don't you don't just go from hitting people and screaming and calling them these names to just one week later being a saint, being an angel. I'm it just it's not how the brain works. It takes it takes a lot of effort. So abusers are really good at lying uh, about it. They're just good at just making it seem like they're eh, everything's great. Just once again, they broke up twice. It, this is their third time. He's obviously gotten her, gaslit her before to get her to be with him. So it's like, I don't, you know, I, I hope he changes. I'm not saying that. I just, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it right now. And I don't think that's out of pocket to say I don't believe it. Because once again, we watched this man smack a three-year-old on the mouth hard. Like that to me is crazy, crazy, crazy stuff in place that's really it's a nuts school night how many times a week does he come over how long right. does he stay for right. i don't get where I don't is get he it. when he comes over that's right okay. okay all right let's take a look at yourself dad here let's go ah! get up let's go ow, ow. you're gonna get morning time out son see like i don't know that, that he let it he let it fly there he let it slip you're gonna get more than time out first of all the son hasn't spoken the whole episode you're going to get more than time out. Like, he just threatened to beat his kid again. Just saying. Hey, quit kicking. Quit it. Hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was bullshitting. I knew he was lying, bro. He was just doing... He was just faking it. Suddenly... A couple days go by. Joe's not there. Suddenly, he's punching walls. He's kicking things. Yeah, I mean, let's be let's be honest. Let's be real. We didn't. That's not shocking. He ain't change him. Looks like he was holding back for the camera. Oh, for, dude, he wanted to punch through this wall. Hold on. Look. Quit it. Oh, <laughs> you could tell he went. Ugh. He want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't pour that on my carpet. What did I say, bro? What did I say? I told you. I didn't want to be negative, but I told you. He smacked a kid in the face again, bro. That's crazy. Don't do it. It's crazy. I knew this would happen. See, now what? Now look at this, too, right? Notice. This is the, the not the hidden, go like hidden camera, I guess, right? This is the camera that he probably didn't realize was maybe on. Smacks her right in the face. This is a two-year-old or a three-year-old child. Don't pour that on my carpet. Gosh. Not good. Also, not the mom. I mean, look, the mom knows this goes on. You know? The mom knows this goes on. I slapped her on the face. I should. 
just openly says it. Just openly says it. We're done with that. God, I don't even, dude. I just feel like it's gonna get worse, dude. Oh no! Oh my god. I have nothing nothing to say to that. That's insane. Yes, I get it. Your daughter's smacking you. Annoying, sure. She's three years old. Right? That makes me sad, I'm not gonna lie. That makes me sad. Bums me out. Please don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna rewind that. If you missed it, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna replay uh smacked his daughter very hard like actually hard like actually like like off the bed that's really sad man that's messed up that sucks oh man he, i'm telling you the mom doesn't care This was, by the way, this was supposed to be him being good. This was supposed to, this is, this is what's crazy. Ugh. Once again, let's reiterate this. This was him with cameras in his house. Cameras in his house, knowing he's on a TV show. This was supposed to be his good week. This is what he did, knowing that he was going to get judged. No wonder they both said they were terrified. And no offense to the mom, but, like, I know the mom's going to cry here, but the mom has seen this for years, and it's not like th this, ain't, this ain't the first week this is happening. Let's just be real. Like, this is crazy. I, I, I At this point, if I were Joe, I would call CPS. I actually, actually would. Like, like actually. Like, even if I was a neighbor, I would call. If I watched this as it went out, and I was a neighbor, I would have been like, you know what? I'm going to anonymously call CPS if I knew that my neighbor was was doing that. It, you know, that would be the end of that. That was horrible. Wow. Just knocked his daughter out. Wrong. I was yelling, losing everything. You smacked him. I ain't got no excuse for that. But well, there is no excuse for this. Man, this is a heavy episode, dude. Damn. I would hope Joe just completely goes off here. Phil, you're a man who has abusive behavior. Yeah. And you do need help. Right. Your children right. are not safe. And standing here, it's, it's my obligation to keep your kids safe. Oh you, you're going to need counseling. Right, right. As a man, as a father, yes, I want to go. I love my kids. The, f the family's in a, in a threatening situation. That behavior is going to break these children's spirits. Right. And you need help to understand why. I'm telling you, he needs more than counseling. That way. I mean, that's a step. Why your behavior is that's such. certainly a step. That's not but today, tomorrow, next week. That's a, a What I think needs to happen is, and I know it's easier said than done, I think the mom needs to leave and get custody of the kids. The problem is she has five children, and that is difficult to do on your own. There is, but I would I would say get out of there. Get out of there. The mom's depressed. I get it. Like the mom does look like she's depressed, and, and I, it's easier said than done to leave. But I don't know, man. If if you can watch somebody else smack your daughter like that. I don't know, and not just be like that's the end. I'm, I, I, I think there's an enabling situation going on there. I would hope that if any of you are with a guy that is smacking their kids off their bed like that, that you would do something about it. Because if not, you're supposed that you're supposed to be protecting your child. You're supposed to be 
you know, I mean, damn, this is sad. Long process of you finding out more about really yourself, sad, actually, your family, very sad. going through a whole process. But you know what I said? You gotta do what you gotta do for your family. You still. It needs right. to be addressed. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be addressed. Yeah, you better get busy, don't you? Oh yeah. Oh man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Like if I was a, if I was a neighbor and I saw this happen in person, like if I saw him hit his daughter in front of their yard, I hope you know I would go up to him and knock him out. I mean that with every fiber in my body. I would knock him on the ground. You know, and I feel like most people would. That would be I would he would just be I would just KO him on the spot. The behavior that I saw on the DVD is as bad as it gets. And I know that I will need to get dad the help that he will need. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you go from that to like this cheery music, bro? I I know they got to put something in there, but it's like you go from that to just like beach music. He will need. Joyce Pastor, nice to that you've called. Meeting up with Joyce was incredibly <sighs> good for Phil. He's a therapist. Joyce was really nice. Oh, yeah. She was just real soft spoken. Somebody that, you know, you felt like you could talk to. Yeah. We have a program designed to target these kinds of problems. I want you to be able to look yourself in the mirror and to be able to say, I want my daughters to be able to marry a man like me. Also, not to nitpick, and I know it's just for show, but if I had my therapy session with my therapist standing outside in a park in public, I would, if that's where they, I would say, let's never do that ever again. Ever. <laughs> like, ever, ever, ever. I'm not having a therapy session at a park in person. Uh, it's just so weird to me. Hey. I thought it would be very good for Phil to actually see and speak to a man up, who had completed the course. And so I had William meet up with us. Will is a man I've worked with on these issues who is brave enough to do this. What Will is going to do is punch you in the head. This and take a look at himself. I would say things it's like I wouldn't think of twice about saying it. Now I really would watch what I say and just really try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Sometimes it's like we just like accumulate and like create a, a habit that we sometimes we just can't get rid of that habit and we just kind of like stay in that rut. It's kind of like driving a car on a dirt road after a while. Right. It's like you just take your hands off the steering wheel. Well, sometimes it's just like you got to get yourself out of that rut. This does get to be dangerous. I have worked with men who have never thought they would do this, but have killed their partners or killed Damn. even their children. They have come to me and they have said, I really didn't mean for this to happen but they did mean and choose to cross that first line. Right. Meeting William did give me the hope that change is possible. All I got to do is put my mind to it and do it. I still don't believe a word he says. Good night, Blunt. Don't believe a word he says. But I'd like you to make a promise that from this day forth, you will stop calling names and that you will never raise believe your it. hand in a hurtful it. way. Don't oh, yeah, you have it. it. You okay. have my commitment. You have my word. Okay. Yeah, his Making word. these commitments was a very big step for Dad, but I need to make sure that he remembers why it's important to stick with these commitments. Right, that smirk. I just hate that he keeps having There's that smirk. There's a lady here that I'd like you to meet. The last but not least of this journey for Phil was to introduce him to a... Oh, I have a feeling this is going to get heavy. ...young woman who had endured abuse from her own father. A young girl sees through her father's eyes herself. And for myself, I saw the way that my father treated me and treated my mother. And on some level, I believed that that was how I deserved to be treated. And even as I grew older and went to college and did very well in a career, when I chose relationships, I chose very poorly. Um, and I ended up being in a relationship with a man who was emotionally and verbally abusive. Your daughters are, are looking to you to right. see 
what kind of man they're gonna choose for themselves someday. And you don't want them to be with somebody that's gonna belittle them or make them feel badly about themselves. You want I was thinking of like, wow, I don't want this to be one of my daughters sitting across from me asking me why, you know? So it was an eye opener. Your job now is to apologize to them, not just through your words, but through your actions that you can change. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing so I can get answers for me and so I can help my children and my family. When you have some challenges and some obstacles and you feel like you're gonna right. turn back, I, I hope that you remember this moment oh. because um, we're the people that are quietly in the background right. you know, cheering you on. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank I, dead ass, I agree. You guys are saying, I feel like it's going in one ear out the other. I swear to God, I don't feel, I'm not even trying to beat up on him at this point. I don't feel like he's listening. Cause every, right. Yeah. Right. Like he hasn't followed up with anybody, asked a question, asked for anything, said really anything of note besides, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. He hasn't said any, like he hasn't even, I don't, you know, like anything. Nothing, not a follow up with her. I don't know, man. I I just don't, uh, you know. I don't really feel it. I don't feel the sincerity, you know. I I don't feel the emotion in there. I just feel like, like you guys said, lights are on. Nobody's home. The fatal. Um. I don't know. I just get that feeling, you know, that he's just he's just kind of. Thank you not, very much. Thanks. He's made like, me feel good. Like even you. this, like I, I, I know, I know. Sometimes people smile and laugh because of serious yeah, situations, thank but thank like you very much. Thanks. I don't know. He just looks way too happy to be talking to somebody that just told them, you know. I don't know, it man. Made me feel good to know that. Okay, I can remember her if I have that situation come up. That that'll help me say uh, stop. I would have called CPS. Hey. Hey. Hello. Even though I know there's a long road ahead of me, I'm looking forward to that journey because in the long run, it's going to benefit me, my wife, and my children. OK, guys. Yeah, yeah. Time for me to leave. And JoJo wants some hugs. If I could say anything to Phil, it would be that's that. Obvious, that's obviously just dirt on her face, right? And JoJo wants some hugs. I don't even want to. I don't even want to get too deep, but I don't know, man. That that just alone, her face just worries me, to be honest with you. But you know, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna get into that. I'm not even gonna get into that. It doesn't look like. I mean, look, maybe she was playing and got whatever. She's a kid, but I don't know. What worries me? A bunch of marks on her face. If I Hopefully, it's just something, you know, exactly. Kids are clumsy. Hopefully, it's just something else. If I could say anything to Phil, it would be Whereas that after seeing how hard he can change the past. Hey, it's the beginning for you. But he can change the future of five beautiful children. I, I have asked Joyce for reports Good. in regards to Phil, and I will be keeping in touch with the family. This is the first time I've ever heard her say that. Thank God. So she's basically saying, please report back to me. The problem is I, I, I have to put her down again, but I feel like the mom would lie and just say everything's going well or something, you know? There's no two ways about that. We have the opportunity to heal the hurt that we've caused. Once again, that boy did not say one word this whole episode. Which I find interesting. Now, maybe he was shy and that's fine, but he didn't say anything. Each other hey, Caitlin. and to give our children safe place. Man, what in the hell was that? Hey, Nelly. Oh. All right, let me read you this, this update I found. I couldn't find anything, like, actually of an update, but this, this I read in 2009. Authorities are investigating a possible child abuse case uh, involving a... Fa a Florida family featured on Super Nanny, the Volusia County Sheriff Department, um, had it has had an active case going over Phil Davis. Now, here's what Phil Davis's Phil Davis said in response to the investigation. He said, "It's all blown out of proportion. These kids love me to death, and I love them to death." That's what Phil said. 
So that's ridiculous. The deputy contacted the show's producer who confirmed on what happened on the show did occur. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Bill then says, they're happy, healthy, and you won't find any bruises on them. Well, I certainly disagree with what we just saw in my, with me pausing that. And uh, that's pretty much the only thing I see now. And that makes me wonder what the hell has happened in the future with this family. And that's insane. I'm insane. not fucking leaving. What a crazy thing to say. They're still together? Oh, my goodness. I'm stunned. I mean, look, maybe that's a good thing. But the fact that they got whatever, they broke up or divorced two other times, I just don't. I just feel like that's a never-ending the police were called on him twice by neighbors, and he was never arrested. Ah, uh, what can you say? To, what can you say to that besides what's even the point then of calling the cops? You know, if they don't do anything there, uh, Gabs, thank you for the nine months. I I just think that the dad is terrible, but the mom is right there. I just feel like she put up with a lot. It was very telling when the daughter was getting called a slut and she just stood there and and didn't rip him a new one and be like, how dare you say that to her? That means that that's common and, you know, so I'm not surprised they're still together, to be honest. I'm just sad. That's a family that probably sh that's they should have not been together. That's all I'll say. But and I, I believe he should be in jail. To be honest, just just. Once again, I can't stress this enough. This is a television show. He was doing this on television. It's just crazy to me. What was this man doing off screen? What has he done off screen? I believe that things that would get him in prison. Honest to God. You can't tell me that somebody doing that on camera, punching walls and smacking his daughter off the bed, isn't doing stuff that is more vile off camera you know that episode came out in 2009 so crazy to say that but 15 years ago 15 years ago he's a, someone said he's a cop no who said that he's a police officer now i'm done i'm done i don't want any more updates i don't want any more updates i don't want to know anything else i'm done I don't want to know anything. 